I can't keep drinking alone. Well, I've never seen you before. You from around here? Nah, I'm from Cambridge. I grew up there, I went to school there, I never left. Oh, Cambridge, yeah, well, oh, well let me guess. Um, are you a proud graduate of the Hull International Business School? The what? Nah, I went to Harvard. Oh, Harvard, yeah, I've heard that too. Uh, so tell me, is Harvard as idyllic as it seems? Oh, more so. Oh, indescribably idyllic. All my greatest chums are my pals from the Crocodillos. Oh, yeah, you were in the Crocodillos, huh? Oh, I was a founding member, 1946, the first group. Oh, wow, well, I am in the presence of acapella royalty. Welcome. Where are you from? Connecticut. I'm currently doing a little acapella in New Haven when I'm not cracking the books. Albertus Magnus College has an acapella singing group? No, I go to Southern Connecticut State University? No, I go to Yale. You obviously go to Yale, 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 Yale. You with New Haven and you over here with Cambridge. Just say Harvard and Yale for Christ's sake. 2020 must have been awful for you. You don't mean, I sure do. The cancellation of the Harvard-Yale football game. I'm still not over it. That damn pandemic, so much suffering. Oh, the crocodillos had to cancel their summer tour. That's too bad. Hmm, hey, tell me, being a member of the oldest a cappella group at Harvard must have really been something, huh? Ah, oh, well, I don't like to brag, but sure, it was pretty pleasant. Hmm, the Whiffin Poops sure sang a lot of songs before the Crocodillos even existed. Cole Porter was long gone from the group before the Crocs started up there in Cambridge. You show some respect. Fred Gwynn was a Croc. Herman Munster was a Croc. He sure was the best singer in his group. Oh, what I wouldn't give to be a privileged puppet singing a cappella in an Ivy League school. Well, I would love to be singing with 14 other people. I dreamt about it on the farm back in Kansas. I would gladly give up one of my hands for that. It must be nice to know that you can go to any party anywhere and simply drop the name. And as they raise a brow, you know somehow that you could lead with confidence instead of shame. tooth and singing like a little bird and as you whiff him by they say oh my that is the greatest a cappella group that I have ever heard gentlemen songsters off on a spree but maybe that was never meant to be the grass is always greener when you're wearing a tux Fingernails are cleaner and you get up still lux. No caviar or cabernet. But this is the hand I'll play. Never meant to be. The grass is always greener for a couple of 
socks Slumping on a shelf or lamp in a box We'll sigh and then we'll say someday But this is the hand we'll play We'll sigh and then we'll say someday But this is the hand we'll play with my worthless degree from Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in Troy, New York. Wait a minute. You went to RPI? No need to rub it in. Rub it in? We're envious. You're a crocodilla. And you're a whiffenpoof. The whiffenpoof started 36 years after the RPI Glee Club. Yep. Rensselaer's is the oldest American collegiate a cappella group. No denying it. Their tradition proudly lives on to this very day in the Rensa lyrics. Hey, all right, well, another round? We could play rock, paper, scissors to see who's buying. Rock, paper, scissors? Not rock, paper, scissors, we're puppets. Scissors always wins with puppets. All right, relax. This round is on the house, courtesy of a proud graduate of Troy, New York's Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, home of the first collegiate a cappella group in the country.